In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do my signature scroll based console table. I'll have links in the description box for the templates and any of the tools and products I used in this video. Let's begin with making the template. First step is I'm going to go to my site and print off my scroll base design. After you print the template out, you're going to want to use this quick drying spray adhesive. I'm just going to glue this on in the same pattern that I printed it out on a quarter inch sheet of plywood. It's pretty simple, just line up the lines, spray the glue and stick it on the board. After that's all done, I'm going to take it to the bandsaw here and I'm just going to cut it all out and then sand the edges to make them smooth. This will now be my hard copy for the scroll base template. I will drill a hole in it and hang it on my wall in the shop. The good thing about making a hard copy is now you'll have this template for every future build that you make using this scroll base. I pride myself on coming up with a lot of different templates and designs. As you can see, this is just a few. But moving on, we're going to also do the base foot for this scroll base console table. So same steps apply. I'm just going to spray the adhesive stick it on this board and take it to the bandsaw and cut it out and then I'll have the base foot and the scroll. Now that we're finishing up with making our templates, it's time to go to the lumber area and choose the lumber. I'm choosing reclaimed poplar for this project. Go ahead and start with the miter station, turn on the dust collection, and we're going to start cutting the boards for the base feet for this table first. Now that the base feet lumber have all been cut to rough dimensions, each one of these planks basically takes up two parts of the foot. It's easier to run through the joiner and the planer if you have a little bit longer board. So here we go. When doing the milling process, I always start with the face grain and then go over to the end grain. After that is done on two sides, I will then take the boards to the planer and plane the parallel edges. Now let's make our final cuts for those base feet before we get ready to glue them up. I'm using Tight Bond 2 for the glue up of these table feet. The lamination process can be slightly therapeutic. I kind of enjoy it. Just line up all the planks, take two away, and glue it all up. Be sure to cover all the edges. You don't want to leave any open voids in these boards. Now let's simply clamp them up. This is part of the glue up process and we'll be done with this step.
When you're working on multiple projects at once and doing a glue up, always make sure you time stamp your lumber after the glue up. That way you can have sufficient time on the glue up before you remove the clamps. Moving on, we're now cutting the boards for the scroll column of the base. Time to cut these to rough dimensions and do the same milling process. We're moving right along now. We're already on the glue up stage of the scroll base. We're gonna let this sit for about two and a half hours, remove the clamps, and then we're moving on to the next step. The scroll base is only two dimensional, unlike most of my table bases that I do that are four dimensional. So this we only need to square up one side use my handy dandy square to get the dimensions of the length cut and we'll run it through the bandsaw and make sure we get a nice square cut. Now cut the ends of the blocks. I'm just going to put my square on there now and check for proper squareness. And this is pretty close to accurate. I was just a little bit off in the center area. I'm doing a little markings and I'm just going to take my finger plane and plane those areas off. Now we're all square. We're going to run it through the table saw and get the parallel edge on the other side. Now that we got that done, I'm just going to take my card scraper and make a few little adjustments as I'm squaring it up and just making sure it's perfect. This is the fun part. Let's just trace out the outline of the template we made onto this block. Just be sure to take your square and line up the back and the bottom to the block so that way the base will be accurate. Just a side note, I love using this pencil. This is an architectural drafting pencil with nine millimeter lead, so it doesn't break often like typical mechanical pencils. Really awesome. I hate going to the pencil sharpener over and over. Just thought I would add that in there. But let's go on over to the bandsaw and start scrolling this out. Now it is important at some point to make a few relief cuts, and you'll see that here in this process. It just keeps the blade from snagging and keeps you moving along much more fast. All right, so that wasn't so bad, was it? We got that scroll cut out. Now it's time to move on to the second block. And then we're gonna go to the feet.
All right, moving on to the blocks for the feet. They're already been glued up and milled and they're ready to be traced on. So I'm taking my template and repeating the process just like the scroll. We're gonna do it to both of these blocks, take it to the bandsaw and carve them out. I consider the scroll base and this base foot to be some of the simplest I do, considering they're two-dimensional. Anytime it's a two-dimensional base, it's easy peasy. All right, so we got the base feet cut out and we got the scrolls cut out. Now we're gonna take them over to the shaper and we're just gonna use a quarter inch round over bit. And we're just gonna round out all the edges here just to make them soft and subtle to the touch. Alright guys, as this video is getting ready to come to a close, I hope you enjoyed it. The second video in this series will come out next week and that'll be about attaching these bases and moving on to the second stage in this table build. As always, thanks for coming back and I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.